two of them. Two sheds. Oh. That is great. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Nice eating size too. Yeah. All right, Joyce. How'd you say you're gonna cook these shad? You're gonna cook them for six hours? Six hours. The oven is set at 250 degrees and they sit in there just for six hours and it softens the bones. And they come out really good. Well the first thing you want to do with your shad you you want to scale them. I'm using this antique scaler. I don't know how old that is, but it's old. It does a great job. <laughs> nice and scaled. <laughs> well, the next thing I'll do, I'll just cut the fins off, just to make them look good. And we'll, while we're messing with them, we won't get fins in our hand. Right? Right, and you won't eat them. <laughs> you won't eat a fin. Yeah, they probably won't get soft. Then we'll uh, gut the shad. I could cut the head off, but it's uh, something to hold on to. Gross some people out. Hmm? That might gross some people out. Nah, it's just fish guts. And then we'll cut the tail off. I don't know where you have to cut the tail mm -hmm. off, but we're going to cut the tail off. And then we're going to take the head off. Lead line. I'm gonna take it over to the sink and just clean it out. One thing we forgot to do when we caught these: if we when we go out again, we'll make sure we bleed them. We usually bleed our fish, but we were too excited. We were surprised to see them show up this time because we went out. This is the third time we're out looking for them, and they didn't show up. We got two involved in fishing, think about bleeding. Yeah, nice pink. Nice uh, pink or well, it's gonna be white bony meat. <laughs> well we'll take care of that. Cook the bones out. Alright, you want four slits cut in here, right? Right. Or four cuts in it, whatever you mm -hmm. want to call it. What's that for? That's so when I melt the butter and the spices and you rub it in. Well, first you, you're going to melt down some butter, right, Joyce? Right. There's um, six tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of oil in there. And you just, in fact, you can actually take it off the burner in a few minutes. Yeah. Melt itself down. Okay. You don't want it to burn. Next step is... Two teaspoons of garlic, the granulated garlic powder. Teaspoon of Old Bay. Salt. 
you can use cracked pepper or regular pepper. So it'll work about a quarter teaspoon of pepper in there. Mix it up. And you're gonna take the juice of one lemon. And you're gonna squeeze that in there. This one is a little big to get in there, but it gets in there. And mix that up. Your next step is, of course, line your. I've got a throwaway pan that I'm using for this, but you can uh, be, use another pan, just line it with foil. So there's going to be four shad in this pan, and then two shad in the um, fish cooker. So you just you want to stick them in there like that. Before I put anything in there, I'm going to brush all the fish in this pan with the butter mixture. You want to brush it in there, make sure it gets into the little cracks, the slits. And coat the inside. Same thing on the other side. So after you get your fish coated, if you like pepper, you go back over and just now two of these are gone into the fish cooker. So what I'll do is just flip it over, put it in here. That one's done, now I'm gonna do the same thing in here. Put them over. And put your pepper on it again. Again, we have a little bit of butter left over and just put it back over them again. In the fish cooker one, it has this tray that's in here. So I'm going to take a quarter cup of water and just put that in there. So now this one's going to go in the oven. It's got the water in there. This will go on the top shelf. This is the confection oven. You want to set your uh, pre preheat your oven to 375. And then after you get your fish in there, you want to turn it down to 250 and check it at 4. I would check it at four hours. It usually takes six, but sometimes they get done quicker if they're depending on the size of the fish. And these fish are on, they're not super thick. So I'll check them around four hours and just make sure that they're cooking right. Now we're working on this pan. If you don't have a fish cooker, uh, you could do it this way. You just, of course your butter's in there. What I'll do is put a little bit of water in here, just in case you don't want that butter to, to burn. It's about a, about a quarter cup in there also. And you're going to fold up your foil and make like a tent. 
put it together. Okay, you want to turn off your oven from the 375, put it back on, change the temperature to 250, then check back in about four hours. Uh, you can get a little piece of the fish to see if the bones are soft. If not, it's, you have to let it go for the six hours. Well, the fish should be done. It's been six hours. first it still looks good it smells so good too hopefully the bones got soft that's the whole point of this here with one that's got the bones. No, oh, I think they're done. At least that, that breaks. Did you get the back bone, the main bone? I don't see him in there. Let's just take this whole thing out of here. There it is. Well, if that one's done. The other ones are done. They're all done. But that's soft. Feels soft. Let's see. Soft? Mm hmm. It's done. Done. Right? Done. It worked. It worked. We haven't done this in a few years, huh? Right, let me try the little guys. Yep, you are gonna get that part in your throat. That's good, pretty neat. This one looks the best. Yeah. This one just looks really good. That was good. Mm-hmm. Let's see if that one works. Yeah. There's a bone. There's a bone. There's a main bone. Main bone. Yeah, look at them bones there. Look at that. You're going to eat the whole bone, huh? I'm going to be brave. <laughs> You're going to be brave. And see if it's done. Yeah. That's how you tell it's done. Eat the bone. Mm -hmm. Almost. Uh, it needs a little more? It needs a little more. Maybe. So yeah. the uh, fish cooker cooked it better. Mm-hmm. Yep. Maybe because a lot of the steam uh, escaped out of here. And that probably got a little bit hotter All right. here. You know, this we got plenty of time. Go Give it another half hour. It's got to go another half hour. It's almost there. I mean, you can eat it, but it's better having not as crunchy. Well, the shad really looked nice, Joyce. And I tried a piece, and it reminded me of that uh, canned salmon. That's the texture of how the bones are in there. Or sardines. Looks like a big sardine to me. Big sardine. Yeah. <laughs> But these, these ones came out of the uh, fish cooker that I used. Uh, they got done quicker. And why I think they got done quicker is they sat on that rack and the water was underneath of them, which was bringing up steam. Where the other ones are sitting in that broth. And I think that's why they're taking a little longer. But with tonight's dinner, what I made was uh, roasted balsamic tomatoes with baked sweet potato.
Well, if you enjoy our videos, we'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thanks a lot for watching.